What is going on? Dion Rice here coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be fixing videos that were recorded by Instant Replay or what is formerly known as NVIDIA Shadowplay and we're basically going to fix out of sync videos and audio. If you notice from this particular clip where I got from Quake Live. So if you notice, between the actual videos and out of syncness, you can actually tell that the audio is way off, especially when I picked up the quad damage right about there. In which you heard it earlier saying quad damage. So you notice it's a very it's out of sync. And if you notice inside the Adobe Premiere settings, 959.53 FPS, which in theory is not 60 FPS and it's not where it's supposed to be. If you look under the, uh, a program where I downloaded called Media Info, I can actually look at this and see where exactly why this thing has been causing uh, major issues. If you notice under here where it says uh, display rate, frame rate mode says it's variable. So it obviously is going to record at different frame rates depending on what uh, the scene happens and such. But the frame rate here is it says 59.5 to 6 FPS, where it says the original frame rate should be recorded at 60 FPS. This video was recorded by the Instant Replay. Now, if I look at another video info on the side here, this one particularly is recorded by Shadowplay, but it also is also a variable frame rate. But if you notice, the difference is the frame rate actually stays at 60 FPS. Now, the minimum and maximum frame rates, that will always change. That's no, that's no issue there because it's still a variable frame rate mode. The difference, obviously, is the frame rate itself being that this is a 60 FPS video. This is not, if you notice right here. So, in order to fix this instant replay VIX video, we have to go to a program that's called Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is basically another way to convert videos from, let's say, I don't know, maybe you want to convert it to, to your mobile devices, to your tablets, to another thing from, let's say, MP KV to mp4 as an example. So I'm going to drop in the video from the instant replay. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load. Now the way to, f now I already put a preset to this, but the way that I would fix it is make sure it still says 1920 by 1080 or depending on the actual screen resolution, make sure that doesn't get changed. Cropping should stay the same. You can change these options if you want to. I leave them at the default settings, honestly, because there's not really much of a difference. Uh, the way you want to change is under the video tab, where under here where you see, I click here in the frame rate, constant frame rate. Because right now, if according to the video, it says it's, vari it's a variable frame rate. So you want it to be a constant frame rate where that way it will make the audio and visual uh, be connected and be in sync with each other. And that's basically it. You can play around with the constant quality settings, but obviously since when you're going to be rec in encoding it inside of your video, uh, in Adobe Premiere, it's going to be even more or less quality, especially when you try to upload it to YouTube as well. So your results may vary around this. I usually stay around a 20 to 22 mark, uh, mostly 20 to 23 mark, I should say. But 22 is what I usually use, and that, that's pretty much it. You don't really have to change anything else. I mean, it's up to you if you want to, but this is the best. That's this is my best way to doing it. And then if you want to, go ahead and save the file to somewhere where you want it to go to. Now let's, I'm just going to uh, do all this, or I mean when this video has been encoded. And we're back. Uh, the video took a bit longer to encode than I expected, so I just stopped the video. And we're back. Now if Handbrake is done, we see here in the original file on the left side, variable, staying the same, same, all the same exact settings that we had before. Over here, it always says constant mode, 60 FPS. Looks like everything's been fixed, right? Now, if we go back into Adobe Premiere, add in this new video. If we go in projects, add another video. Once this thing gets imported, this should be basically an updated video. Oh, if it doesn't crash on me, that is. <laughs> that would have sucked. We go into the new video where cut off the opti gaming part here because I was watching the better videos. We can see that. Now, once that that conforting is done, we have here is actual good audio. If you notice, my jumping is actually insane when I actually do jump jump sounds. So, a much better experience. Very good. Very good way. You notice. That's it for the tutorial, Odyssey, because this is a, basically just a way to fix your audio that was out of sync via the instant replay or what was known as shadow play so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh let me know if you this actually video helped you out and i will see you in the next one later